Welcome dear learners to the second part of the video on the topic human resource management. My name is Chainika Senapati and I am from the discipline of Maniram Devan School of Management, Krishna Kanta Hundikoi State Open University. In this part of the video session, we will discuss about the functions of human resource management. We will also discuss about the role of HR executives and Lastly, we'll discuss about the challenges of human resource management and also we'll discuss about human resource development. So dear learners, let us now discuss about the various functions of human resource management. So on the basis of various functions uh, which the human resource management generally undertakes, uh, there are many functional areas that we can discuss here in this video. First is the organizational planning, development and task specialization. Organizational planning, which is a very vital uh, point for the achievement of predetermined goals in an organization, is concerned with the division of all the tasks to be performed into you know, manageable and efficient uh, units and uh, the human resource manager should perform the planning, you know, development and designing of an organizational structure through the fixing of the responsibility and authority of the employees for achieving the organizational objectives. Then comes the staffing and employment. The staffing process, we all know, is a flow of events which results in a continuous uh, manning of organizational positions at all the levels from the top management to the operative level that is the bottom level management. So this process includes you know manpower planning, authorization of planning, uh, developing sources of applicants, then evaluation of the applicants, employment decisions like selection, you know, then offering like placement, induction, uh, then orientation, training, transfer, maybe promotion, demotion. So all these things comes under staffing and employment. Now Training and development is also very important for the employees in an organization. However, it is a complex process and concerned with increasing the capabilities of the individual and groups uh, so that they may contribute effectively to the attainment of organizational goals. So under this area, the training needs uh, of the company are identified, suitable training programs are developed, then operative and executives, uh, the employees are identified for the training and they are given with the training programs. Then let us discuss about the compensation, wage and salary administration. It uh, basically it is basically concerned with the process of compensation directed towards uh, remuneration of the employees for services rendered by them and motivating them to attain the desired level of performance. Uh, the components of compensation wage and salary may be you know job evaluation through which the relative worth of the job is determined you know developing and operating a suitable wage and salary program then non monetary incentive compensation plan have to be developed for encouraging the efficiency of the uh, employees then evaluating employees performance at work through a system of performance appraisal and motivating employees by creating you know condition a good working condition. Then comes the employee service and benefits. So these are mainly concerned with the process of sustaining and maintaining the workers or the employees in the organization, which includes the policies, the techniques and procedures for the safety and health of the employees. Then employee counseling is also important. Then medical services, which includes the provision of curative and preventive medical and health improvement uh, facilities. Uh, then uh, suitable policies and programs are framed and efforts are made uh, to administer the recreational and welfare facilities. Then there should be fringe benefits and supplementary items uh, should be made available to the employees. Uh, then let us discuss about employee records. In employee records, complete and up-to-date information is maintained uh, about the employee so that these records may be utilized as and when required. Uh, at the time of making the transfer or promotion or giving them merit pay or sanctioning leave etc. Then is the personal research and personal audit. Uh, this area of uh, human resource management is mainly concerned with the systematic inquiry into any aspect of 
you know, brought a uh, question of how to make a more effective an organization's personal program like recruitment, selection, development, uh, then procedures and policies and findings submitted to the top executives, then data relating to, you know, quality, uh, data related to wages, productivity, if there is any grievance, then absenteeism if, if it's there, then labor turnover if there is strike or lockouts. Again, uh, the personal research and per in the personal audit comes the morale and attitude survey also. Now, dear learners, let us discuss about the role of HR executives. An HR executive perform all the basic functions relating to human resource, uh, starting from recruitment uh, till the wages and salary administration. Uh, so, an HR executive is the key member in the HR department and plays a very vital role or very important role. So, some of the major roles may be recruitment, then understanding the manpower uh, you know, requirement uh, of each department, then understanding the requirement and then accordingly you know, drafting a job description, then getting it approved from the concerned department, uh, then securing uh, candidates that uh, you know, match the desired skills, then communicating the employees' uh, employment status to the you know, applied candidates, maintaining records, updating the database of the candidates, then doing a background verification of the shortlisted candidates. Again, they are concerned with induction and onboarding, uh, you know, like, uh, for example, giving offer letter and issuing appointment letter to the selected candidates, then communicating the policies, procedures, and culture followed by the company to the employees, uh, newly recruited employees, then introducing, uh, introducing the new uh, journey to the team of, uh, and the supervisor or the manager, then uh, introducing them with the HR policies and HR manu manuals and so on and so forth. They also uh, keep records of leave and attendance, uh, you know, keeping a track of the attendance of the employees, filling the leave forms or keeping the track of the leaves taken. Uh, then they are also concerned with performance management. You know, they, they help the appropriate authorities in doing the performance appraisal of the employees. Uh, then, you know, they maintain a record and track on employees' turnover and exit rate. Uh, they take necessary steps to engage and involve the staff of their work. Uh, again, they are also uh, engaged with the workforce management. Uh, some of the major roles played by HR executive in HR uh, work management would be, you know, handling the staff properly, handling cross-cultural things, then, uh, you know, monitoring uh, that there is no groupism in the organization due to which dissatisfaction arises. Also, they are, you know, engaged with conduct, uh, conducting exit formalities also, you know, conducting exit interviews of the candidates, those who are resigning, trying to get proper feedback for the company and trying to, uh, you know, take and implement corrective measures, helping the person to be released properly, then issuing releasing letter and letter of uh, experience. So, these are the things which comes under uh, conducting exit formalities. Again, they are also uh, engaged with compensation and benefits, you know, designing the salary structure or helping employees save tax by advising them on tax benefits. Uh, so these are the things that uh, they are engaged and uh, human resource uh, executives plays a very vital role uh, in an organization. Now let us discuss some of the challenges of human resource management. First, uh, here I'd like to mention about integrating organizational planning with human resource requirement. So, organization planning must be closely integrated with human resource requirement of the organization. You know, attention to be given in human resource requirement and their development. Then, human resource planning, which enables the management to make forecast the human resource and to design the policies for their procurement in the, you know, broader interest of the organization. Uh, then acquisition of human resource, which includes recruitment, selection, then managing performance. Yes, organization has to make a clear uh, way for, you know, career advancement for the talented employees as well as, you know, hardworking people in the organization. Uh, also, uh, the human resource uh, should be, you know, treated with utmost care and they should be motivated. Uh, you know, motivation of the employees become essential for an organization so that the organizational objectives can be achieved. 
then compensation and benefits which are that I have already discussed it is an activity that determines salary and wage structures and other rewards and benefits to be paid to the staff of an organization and there is also health and safety provisions uh, plays a, is very important and making adequate you know provisions for health and safety for the employees build a strong workforce again uh, human resource development and organization development uh, uh, when we talk about human resource development, it is regarded as a process of increasing knowledge, competence, uh, capacities, intelligence, you know, talents of members of the organization or employees of the organization in, a, in particular and all the society in general. So moreover, it uh, builds the confidence among the members of the organization to face challenge uh, of modern modernization of the technologies that are coming uh, uh, in now nowadays and in overall human resource development you know it facilitates organization development now let us briefly discuss about human resource development as i've already mentioned uh, in my earlier slides uh, human resource development is regarded as the process of increasing knowledge competence, capacities, intelligence and talents of the members or the employees of the organization and uh, it builds the confidence among the members of the organization to face challenge and in overall uh, human resource development facilitates leads the organizational development. In every organization, maybe it big or small, there is a uh, you know human resource department headed by a manager. And in uh, when we talk about a large organization, more specialists are employed. Uh, and when we talk about small organization, there may be one person has to perform uh, many specialized jobs in human resource man uh, departments. So all these managers are delegated to perform the activities assigned to them by the human resource managers. Uh, the human resource department has to be, you know, continuous touch with the other departments for smooth running of the uh, functions of organization. So dear learners, with this we have come to the end of this video. The concept of human resource uh, management uh, has been divided into two videos that I have uh, said. In the first part, we discuss about the concept and evolution of manage, human resource management and in the second part, we discuss about the functions, the challenges uh, of human resource management. Also, we discuss about human resource development. So, human resource, as I have already said, are the vital elements of an organization which means an asset or wealth that can be drawn upon for aid as and when required. So dear learner, thank you so much for watching this video. We'll come up with some other videos with different concepts in human resource management.